Hej. No company stays competitive by insisting all software solutions are built by their own IT. To stay in the game, you must be able to connect to and use other firms' applications. An API application programming interface can be seen as the old-fashioned telephone switchboard, connecting one person to another, but now just connecting one software application with another. APIs are today's modern building blocks for software, and they can make or break a company's digital identity and hence future competitiveness. Technology is today as integrated in business operations as spreadsheets are for finance. But while all C-level executives and board members are fluent in spreadsheet, many still lack a basic understanding of the technologies that will make or break their companies in the future. I believe that if you are to run a company, you need to have a basic understanding of all the tools and tricks of the trades in and around the business and industry you're in. Which is why I made the Fredbrex 5s, a series of 5-minute introductions to the digital tools and concept that matters the most. To put it simplistic, APIs are the glue that connects and keeps modern software applications together, ensuring they can use each other's services and exchange data. By using APIs, companies can connect to other companies' services and products, for example, integrating Google Maps into a Find My Office function. And companies can offer partners and customers access to their digital products and solutions too. Using APIs, companies can tap into worldwide best practices for virtually all areas of the firm's value chain. For example, connecting to a financial service provider's API to integrate a state-of-the-art financial invoicing workflow into the existing finance, uh, finance software, optimizing processes and using best-in-class methods. Integrating with state-of-the-art solutions via IPAs for product development enables companies to reduce time to market for new products and services significantly. And on the other hand, allowing others to access the firm's digital products and services can serve as a new revenue stream or connect partners and customers closer to the company as they now can use the digital services directly from within their own software applications. For example, a company's HR system could be able to see live data about the employee's health insurance schemes and utilization based on an API from the health insurer. Why don't all companies just do more of it then? APIs are based on standard ways of connecting, and for two applications to connect via an API, they must be capable of utilizing these standards. This requires mapping data and functionality from legacy systems into the standards of the APIs, so partners and customers can connect securely to them without compromising security issues and ensuring that they only access the data that they are authorized to access. Think of it like your power plug for your computer charge needs to be fit into the wall socket for you to use with current and voltage matching the requirements of your charger. The adoption of your firm's legacy system to APIs can be a significant task, and unless there is a clear and present need to do so, this tends to be pushed to the development backlog, giving way for more urgent business and IT requirements. Unfortunately, since APIs are enablers, there is rarely an urgent need from the company's management to develop APIs. There will always be more burning issues to prioritize in IT. This is obviously not the right path forward, because the development of APIs and the company's ability to use and offer connectivity via APIs will be a key requirement to stay competitive now and going forward. By using APIs, the business can be given access to manage the company's websites, e-commerce puzzles, and even core business processes and workflows without involvement from IT. This not only frees resources in IT, but radically speeds up the pace of innovation and the firm's ability to react fast to market changes by adjusting existing products and services and introducing new ones. In essence, a company with a competent set of APIs can build systems, services and products like you're building LEGO, completely modular, all fitting easily together and with results record fast. And since Adaptability and speed is key for any firm's future success. Having a real API strategy should be key for any company who wants to stay relevant. On an ending note, APIs are key to separating the various layers of IT systems, a concept that's known as two-speed IT, which I will cover in another Fredrix 5. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified next time I post Fredrix 5s. Thank you so much.